Medical Catholic Welfare Association in partnership with Banks City Council, MTC Australia, Department of Human Services Centrelink, State Training Services, Greenacre Area Community Centre and Banks Multicultural Youth Services have worked in collaboration to set up Youth Step Up Project. Some of the issues for young people getting a job are they're not as experienced, so like it makes it harder for them when they like when they go for a job and they the person asks them if they're good at something and they have no answer for it. What can help young people get a job? Like more like jobs in local areas, like transport will be easier. Like if you have like a job closer to your house, it's more easier to like go there. Also, like speaking English, like it's easy for me, but some of my friends are from a different culture, so understanding them sometimes it might be a bit hard. Training, you have to have like good role models like, to copy like the job you want from them. The Youth Step Up Project tackles youth unemployment issues head on um, and we work on a multidisciplinary approach and we work in regards to developing soft skill skills for young people to better move them and transition them into employment and educational pathways. Um, could you please uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and about how you might be suitable for this particular role? Well, um, I, I, helped, um, I helped out at um, my uncle's shop during the holidays. Okay. I can't work on Thursdays, um, and I think, um, yeah, and I've got, I've got uh, stuff to do on Saturdays, so I might be able to work half day sometimes. Do you think when I asked her questions about her suitability for the role, do you think she answered that question? No. She's like, she's not available on Thursday night. It's <laughs> Saturday. But likely not go to hire as a. My name is Jay Pryor. I'll be interviewing you this morning. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Have you had a good day? I have. Thank you for asking. Um, and thank you for being here on time. So you have to sell time. It's very important. We work with a lot of contractors on site. Um, if there's an issue or conflict, how would you manage that? Well, I had a look on your website and it mentioned about special procedures for subcontractors and contractors. So. I noticed that it mentioned that I had to go to my direct supervisor who was managing the contractors and that I would have to raise it with him. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for you. coming in this morning. Nice Appreciate that. Lovely to meet you today. So it's very important for you to project yourself in a very positive light from the get-go. So I, I judged him from the moment he walked in by the fact that he was punctual and I thought well, this is a great start to our interview and everything else was just ticking it off. That's all that that was doing. Our aim is to empower uh, young people and teach them that the cultural diversity is actually an asset. Apparently, even the length of your name <laughs> can impact on whether someone will look at your resume or not look at your resume. So what I can do, call the person I'm trying to apply for this job for, say, hi, my name is Turkan, make sure that it's nice and clean slide so they've heard it. And I'll say, oh, I'm interested in this position you're, you're advertising. Um, you know, tell me a little bit about it. And I'll, say, and I'll make sure I use their name. And at the end of it, I'll say, oh, Jan, you know, I actually know that really does interest me. I'm going to forward my resume to you. So if they know my resume, my name, they know that my resume is coming. So when they see my resume, they go, oh, I actually took on call. She's definitely interested in this position. You know what? They want that more than their judgment on your name. They want someone who's going to work hard and do the right thing. MTC Australia is a not-for-profit organisation that has been working in the Sydney community for over 20 years. We offer support through a range of training courses, employment services, youth programs and community initiatives. State Training Services is part of the Youth Step Up project. We look after apprenticeships, traineeships in vocational education and training in New South Wales and we want to stress to youth in Bankstown the importance of getting training to develop their careers. We're the only place in New South Wales that does glass and glazing and O'Brien's might ring up the college and say, oh, I hear you have a pre-vocational course going. Uh, we're looking for some people, how many students do you have? And the guy will say, oh, Tate's only got 15 per class. Oh, we've got 14. And he says, what are they like? And he'll say, oh, I've got 12 that are pretty committed. And you know what O'Brien's do? They take the whole 12 and give them an apprenticeship. We hope that this program will um, serve to support 
um, many of the at-risk, disadvantaged and marginalised um, young people within our community and offer them a greater pathway uh, to greater career opportunities. We believe that everyone deserves the same opportunity and we are very proud to be part of the Youth Step Up project. Thank you.